Team Pokey Colors family, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, press a like and subscribe down below. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of my personally um, underrated sets that's out right now that you can still get product for retail price, if not cheaper than retail price. So if you want to buy now to save later, stick around and let's get right into today's video. So if you've read by the title, I think Pokemon Go is going to be the set to collect right now. Reason being, uh, we'll get to in a moment. Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know, I'm sorry for not um, uploading in the past like 10 days. That's because when you order cards from TCG Player, a lot of times sellers like to wait 10 days to ship cards. Um, some of these I got a week and a half ago. Some of these I got literally like two days ago. So I could have made another video, but I wanted to wait because this I think is really important. So we'll get to the binder of the completed Pokemon Go set that I just completed here in a second. And I also just completed Fusion Strike, which I'm still waiting on one card to come in the mail and it's like green at VMAX or something. So whenever I get that from TCG Player, I will make a video on that set as well. Because you can still find tins at certain Walmarts even for $10 and they come with like, you know, Pokemon Go packs and some pretty cool promos in my opinion. So yeah, let's just take a look at the set and it's been so long. I feel like I'm new here. Like how you guys been? What's up? I uh, went to the Indy 500 for the first time yesterday and it was pretty, pretty incredible really. Um, went to the snake pit and got to see some DJs, you know, do their thing, which was awesome. Something I've always wanted, uh, wanted to do, you know, growing up listening to that music all the time. But today we're going to talk about Pokemon Go. So this is my Pokemon Go binder. Uh, I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I'll try to do my best to keep it stable, but we have the big three um, radiant Pokemon. We got the Venusaur here, flip the page. We got Charizard and then Blastoise right down here. Now, radiant cards, I'll probably make a separate video on because they're kind of niche, but I'm thinking in terms of like what set has had kind of a little limited print run in terms of just like the amount of times new product has been printed so like for pokemon go for example the newest like product for pokemon go i believe was the pins the pin blisters that came out a couple months maybe even a year later i don't know they're still doing crown zenith releases right now but no pokemon go products that are new have been popping up it's always been those tins you know that have been marked down because they made so many you know for a set like this i'm thinking back to shining legends a set that was on clearance back in the day and nobody wanted it because there was just so much of it and like you know there was a few cool cards like the shining pokemon were ever, you know brought back for that and um you know i just i remember i was able to find like etbs two years after the set had come out and that might be the case with pokemon go but when you take a look at the chase cards for the set like the mewtwo v with the you know the alternate art uh that's you know the skyscraper artwork and then you have the rainbow mewtwo v star you have this conkledur you know which is very cheap for an alternate art as well like these cards have just tanked in price because there's so much product out there now something that i've noticed that you know something like shiny legends did from back in the day was when somebody when somebody hypes this set up and i'm not saying i'm trying to i'm just saying like get your sealed product now before somebody says oh there's actually a lot of value here because ABC, like that's literally what happened in terms of Shiny Legends. It was just a different set, you know, base set and then the whole market, you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, but I think this set is criminally underrated right now just because of the fact that you can get tins and get pulls like this for about 10 bucks. Like you could pull a, a gold Mewtwo V-Star and... You know the PSA tens are actually going for a decent amount right now. Like I uh, I graded my own, I think it was my Rainbow Mewtwo V Star and my Dragonite. Those two guys in a PSA ten right now, I'll throw their prices on screen. They're going for a decent amount. I mean, you know, for the price of the cards being around 20, 30 bucks a piece, and the PSA ten going for that much, I think it's like you know kind of a no brainer at this point. And listen, I know there's people out there that are gonna say, oh well, you're just trying to catch a fat bag on this set because you have the set complete and I don't I don't have anything sealed from the set I have the V battle deck that is the uh you know the only thing that I have Pokemon Go packs sealed wise like I did have tins and I opened them because I'm trying to complete the set now that I have the set complete yes I will be picking up tins and ETBs because I have seen value in that and 
that's something I do for every set. Team Pokey Colors is just trying to catch a fat bag and trying to flip his investment because he cares about money. Like, no, it's not about that. I'm not going to ever sell any cards from this set. That's not my point here. My point here is if you want to complete a set that's how big, hold on. How big is this set? It's not very big. 78 cards plus five secret rares or so. Um, plus you have Radiant Charizard in the set and you have Ditto with like the, the peel action going on with the Ditto. Um, and then you have Mewtwo V-Star Rainbow, Dragonite V-Star Rainbow, which are two pretty desirable rainbows at the moment, just because it's the only rainbow of that Pokemon. I'm saying it's not a bad idea in my personal opinion. And I'm not a financial advisor, so like, don't listen to me. I mean, I have, I have, um, what do I have? I just bought the two brand new EX battle decks because I, I like EXs, all right? That's not because I'm like, oh, let me sell them in 20 years from now and catch a fat bag. Like those of you who have been around the channel a while, you guys know I'm into set completions. I'm completing binders, right? And I think you guys could too, because you could still find tins at some Walmarts for 20, 10 bucks, mostly 20 bucks. But the amount of value that you get from a $20 tin these days is a lot better um, compared to some other sets that you could get literally no pulls from. And like Pokemon Go's pull rates, I feel like are pretty good just because of the fact that you get a hollow in every pack. And that was something that Sword and Shield didn't do very often back in the day. And now that Scarlet and Violet's out, you know, you got the next set and you got the Charizard set after that. Like, I think, I think Pokemon Go is just going to start creeping up. I want to complete it because I see the value long term. Moral of the story, at the end of the day, spend what you want. You know, like, I'm not going to say you specifically need to go buy this specific product because I specifically say it's going to make you money. That's not the idea here. The idea, the idea, the, the idea. <laughs> the idea here is for me to see where I can help save you money. I'm not trying to take your money. I'm not trying to make a fat bag on eBay. Like, seriously, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I will say it as much as I need to. Like, that's not what we're about here. That's not, not what we've ever been about. It's more or less just me bringing you aware of certain prices. And if for whatever reason I say, go, go buy, go buy, uh, let's see here. Go buy a Lolan Executor V Full Art from Pokemon Go because it's going to go up $50 in the next two weeks. If I ever say that, then ever, by all means, grease me in the comments. I, I will have reached my lowest low at that point. But until then, which is never going to happen because I don't do that, collect what you like at the end of the day. And I'm going to make a video on why people like myself and other influencers say collect what you like because it's, it's wild. It, it's, it's just a no-brainer. So if you saw any value in today's video and thought, you know what, maybe Pokemon Go, I should take a second look because, you know, $20 tins, you can't really beat it. And, you know, if there's anything in the set that you saw that you might want to collect for yourself, like, oh, maybe you like, uh, maybe you like Dragonite V and the Dragonite Vs and alternate arts from Evolving Skies are ridiculously overpriced and expensive. But hey, this one's pretty cool. You know, I get this for, I think I got it for like five bucks, six bucks, maybe. I don't know. Price of a pack at least maybe two the max, but really, you know, this Conkledor V Alternar Mewtwo is 20 bucks. About the price you could spend on a tin. But people love the thrill of the chase, you know? So um, sometimes sealed product is the way to go. And if you can get some packs for very cheap at a local Walmart or GameStop or Target or anything, if there's any deals or sales going on, like I'm pretty sure the Pokemon Center ETB for this set is still in stock. And that's, that's saying something. Um, and that to me screams Shining Legends because that is what I remember from that set. It was literally getting put on clearance. You could get two three-pack blisters or three-pack promo boxes or whatever they were called with the pin and the promo card. You get those, two of them bundled together, saran wrapped together, whatever. You can get them for 30 bucks when they were originally 30 bucks. So it's like half off, you know? And they did that similarly with the Mythical Collection boxes, which are now trending at $100 a piece almost, depending on the promo. So just do me a favor, look at Pokemon Go because you might actually be able to complete the set for about the same price you could get two of these ETBs from and pull zero. That's that's just what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, if you see any value in this video, press a like, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to grease me for hyping up a set, I've at it because I'm not trying to hack, I'm not trying to hype up Pokemon Go. All right. It's been a set that everybody's known about for a while and it just so happens that hey i was looking through tcg player and i'm like oh it's only gonna cost me 30 dollars to complete the set why would i not do that like that's silly you know 
versus spending $30 on a ETB from Scarlet and Violet, which I almost have a complete set for. So next video is going to be about Scarlet and Violet base set. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, press like, subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.